Welcome to this Dense Lysorona podcast. Today we are joined by Dr. Shiraz Khan, who is a cosmetic and restorative dentist based at the London Centre for Implant and Aesthetic Dentistry. Shiraz will be talking to us today about his use of the Sure Smile Clear Aligner System, why it's his clear aligner system of choice, and how it fits into his ortho restorative practice. Shiraz, thank you for joining us today. Could you start by telling us a little bit about yourself and your current practice? Sure. So my name's Dr Shiraz Khan and I currently work at 28 Wimpole Street in London. The clinic's called the London Centre of Implant and Aesthetic Dentistry. Um, very, very privileged to work among some great colleagues and, and mentors in Corey Ferran and so on. So yeah, it's a real privilege to be here. Um, I qualified in 2013 from the University of Birmingham. Thereafter, I did my foundation training in Kent, Surrey, Sussex. Following that, I then did a DCT year or an SHO year, as people may know it as, in mixed restorative oral surgery, max flex, and a bit of ortho as well. Um, and that was in between Croydon, a bit of Surrey, and also at Guy's for a, for a short stint. So that was lovely. Um, and then I've been in practice pretty much uh, since the, I'd say the, the autumn of, of 2014. I've moved around a little bit, tried to stay at practice for as long as possible, but I initially started in Clapham, worked at a, a clinic in, in Hemel Hempstead for a short period, but by and large I've been basically based in London thereafter and, you know, continuing on the journey of growth, progression and, and learning. We're talking about clear aligners today. Could you tell us what made you decide to explore this area of dentistry? Within my educational portfolio, I did a master's in restorative dentistry to give myself more of an academic backbone, but also understanding for how to treat more complex cases to get into implantology and to get into full mouth rehabilitations. So that's a big part of my practice. But ultimately, I also another big arm of my practice and teaching as well is composite bonding and the ability to recreate nature with these fantastic materials that we've got with us um, in this era. And a big part of composite and, and plating composite is having the teeth in the right position which naturally found me going down the sort of clear line or orthotic anterior alignment sort of road. And how did your journey start with Sure Smile Clear Aligners by Dense by Serena? Sure Smile Aligners I know they've been for, around for a while but um, I've been working a lot with uh, Tiff Kureshi IAS who's another big mentor you know he's been quite instrumental actually in, in my orthodontic knowledge, growth and understanding and, and tackling some challenging cases. Um, so I've been doing a lot with IAS for, for a long period, but he had advised me about, you know, Shaw Smile that's, that, that was coming out and how it's going to be a, a, a pretty promising system. And being a speaker and one of the key opinion leaders for, for, for Dentsply, he introduced me to the team. Um, I had a couple of Zooms and discussions where people showed me the software the interface and so on and that all started I think I first case started in January this year so it's been six months going through we're coming to the end of some of the cases which is which is looking really really promising but so far it's been a, a wonderful system. And what would you say are the benefits of Sure Smile over other clear aligners you've used? I think the the, the, the benefits are, are, are multifaceted I mean first things first I think the Dent Supply Serona brand being associated with that is, is a big one. So they've obviously invested, I mean, billions, obviously, through research and development to make sure that they're always providing, you know, pretty cutting edge instruments, materials and our aligners. So that was the first thing. The second thing is, I actually think it's less visible than, you know, other aligner companies that I've been working with in the past. And they have been multiple and plentiful. So they are almost the most uh, non-visible clear aligner uh, a brand which I like but I also like the platforms really really lovely it allows for you to change variables that may or may not have been accessible from 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 other systems I've worked with in the past um, and it gives you real control I love the fact that you can control the trim height you can start prescribing specific movements the teeth not to move what so and so on so I think really um, and the other thing I really like about the software actually is that from the intro or scan and the photo they can literally put the jaw onto the image and show how those teeth move in space in the face I think that's that's cracking. Uh, that, that, that really was like a, oh, wow, why has this not been thought of before? That really caught me by, by storm. And I was like, right, yeah, I want to I get involved with this. How many cases have you now started with Shaw Smile? I think we're up to 10 cases, but everything seems to be following the plan quite well. 
Um, one of the other things that I really like about it, you know, credit to Josh Rowley because I went on his course when I started this journey with Sean Small. I really like the idea of this, um, you know, s- scheduling and, and timing of IPR and making sure that you're doing this in different phases when the teeth or the contact points become uh, appropriately uh, close to each other in a sort of, you know, buckle lingual plane because then you're A, you're ensuring you're doing your IPR more accurately, but B, um, it reduces the risk or, or need for refinery aligners. I mean, that being said, I haven't finished any cases yet, but from what I'm looking at, it, it really looks like things are moving exactly as proposed. So, yeah, yeah, it's, it's been fantastic so far. How important is predictability for you and your patients? We're in a day and age where, you know, there are a lot of clear aligner brands. There are always direct-to-consumer brands as well, which... Uh, you know, we could that could be a separate podcast in itself, really, about the the viability and, and and the reasoning for that. But invariably, this has come about because patients want an option, and I think if they are seeking a professional, we need to demonstrate that we're able to be superior over, for example, direct consumer brands. And for me, I think if you've got predictability, if you've got a plan, if it's going to stick roughly to that plan, the patient's going to grow in confidence with you. And not only that, they're going to refer further patients. Often people choose to, you know, go on their clear aligner journey sometimes before they're getting married. So sometimes there's a really big time frame that associates with the start of treatment, end of treatment, getting the whitening done and possibly any composite bonding that we're trying to do. And sometimes, annoyingly, it falls in with a very narrow, narrow range. And ultimately, if you're not getting predictability, if you're having to order several aligners more, and if things are starting to follow that pattern, um, it starts losing a bit of trust with the patient. So predictability for me in life, in, in dentistry, is, is, is critical. So having that predictability with Charles Smile has been really, really pleasant. Could you tell us about your previous experience with clear aligners and what made you decide to switch to Shaw Smile? My journey with clear aligners all started in 2015 and 16 and obviously then I was relatively inexperienced. So um, any experience that I had at that time in those times probably was a reflection of my experience rather than the system per se. But what I just have found is that it's such a popular uh, form of treatment and therefore not doing the treatment is probably a loss leader in a, in a way so I thought to myself and this is why I, I, I you know engaged with Tiff Kreshi himself because ultimately I wanted to increase my breadth of knowledge and understanding so that I could give good outcomes to patients but the general experience with Kiranis has been on the whole positive I think sometimes uh, I've probably suffered with you know uh, sometimes there's too many attachments, sometimes there's too many refiners, sometimes um, things don't seem to quite follow the plan. And again, I'll probably say it's probably my lack of understanding as to why things didn't follow how they are. But having come through this journey and having such an intuitive system, it seems like everything is at this point in time following exactly as planned. So it's all looking really, really positive. Um, but as I've said, with, with all the teaching that I do, position of teeth is is critical to getting great outcomes with your composite bonding and therefore it just naturally felt that I needed to do uh, a bit of in-depth understanding in, in aligners and orthodontics in general to ensure that I could maximise my outcomes with, with everything else I was doing. And that I believe fits in well with the smile design service you offer your patients. Yeah, absolutely. And I think, you know, we're, we're uh, by no means am I a uh, jack of all and a master of none. That's not kind of what I'm about. But what I do like is being able to have the freedom and flexibility to be like, right, I want to intrude that by one millimetre so I can get the margins, the gingival margins, right? Like I, I want to be able to, to do that and see that go through. And ultimately, patients quite like that they see the same person through the journey. Now, that's not to say when, when there are more complex anterior, posterior, posterior segment involvement um, orthodontics, I probably probably start you know leaning on my orthodontic colleagues to get those sorts of things done but for the sake of you know anterior premolar to premolar type alignment alignment i think it's a very very predictable uh, mechanism to try and get an improvement and patients do often quite like that the person can kind of i don't i don't know if i can say this correctly but the person who can see the end vision is the person that's in the way through those journey and, and steps and my patients are very aware that with the same token i'm not going to be precious about holding on to every aspect of their treatment if i think there's someone who can do something better they'll absolutely go to that person but ultimately i think if you understand the rules of orthodontic general orthodontic principles understand the limitations of what clear aligners can and can't do i think clear aligners are a fantastic system to be able to give patients optimized outcomes you know you're absolutely like you said smile redesign give them you know give them a new lease of life and that and that's 
I mean, a big part of why I do dentistry anyway. You know, it's about happiness is a big emotion and the fact that people may have to guise that because of their, you know, in their in their mind, their inappropriateness of their tooth shape, position, coloration, all of that stuff. Giving people confidence with that is, is, is a big part of what I do. And what is the feedback you get from patients about Sure Smile? If I'm going to be completely clear, I don't think anyone loves the idea of an aligner. <laughs> I mean, they all like the idea of getting straight teeth. And then when you put them on, you ask them to take them out. They're not coming out properly. And oh, what's this on the chair? Oh, and the, and the, 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 I call it polishing in between the teeth. Um, all of that part is, is certainly a, a bit of a wake-up call when they, when they come in. But the, the overall response is that after the two to three days of acclimatisation, I mean, they, can't, they almost can't live without them. They feel odd when they're not in. And uh, with, with, with short smile in particular, as I've already touched on, the fact that it's almost so invisible is, is such a positive response that I've had. And it, albeit only you know, near enough coming to a dozen patients, but every single person has said, like, no one even knows, or the, or the lay public that, that don't even realise that I've got them in. And, you know, like, that's the other thing that with attachments, the principle of attachments is if there is a more complicated movement or if there's more grip basically required on a tooth attachments are placed but ultimately they're not placed if they're not needed so the requirement for attachments and the number of attachments that are placed compared to other systems they may have used in the past there's certainly a difference and i'm sure there's a reason for more attachment there's reason for less but ultimately if you're still getting your outcome patients will, would love that wouldn't they they'd love the fact that they you know we've had to do cases where patients are like i can't have any attachments whatsoever yet it's going to take a long time uh, and, and openly set moves is just not going to happen so it's um, yeah it's been a really positive experience all the way through so far you've talked about many benefits of sure smile but if you had to name a couple of standout features what would they be how invisible it is uh, is one i think that the planning the planning of the the case is usually follows instructions relatively well um, and whilst round tripping is a big part of some cases when you specify it not to happen they still they don't just go and round trip and then IPR they'll IPR and, di- and, and re- reshape the whole case in terms of the way it's going to go so I love that uh, mechanism for discussion and feedback with the lab I love the fact that it's invisible and I love the fact that it's not really got uh, you know this lust for attachments per se if I can call it that um, and, I lo- and I love the alteration of trim I, I think that's really really important because if you you are doing certain movements that are going to be a bit more complicated you want a liner that's a bit more rigid increasing the trim height can significantly improve the efficiency of your movements that's not available through many of the other systems that i've i've used in the past so all of those things really you're fairly new to sure smile yet well on your way to working in partnership with dance by serena to support the growth of the product with speaking opportunities and brand awareness activities what makes you so confident in the system to back it so early on I think that's a really important question because ultimately my credibility as a speaker uh, will remain paramount before any integration or or cooperation between any industry partner or company. But, But put it this way, I think if a lot of the key people that I look up to in the orthodontic world have invested their time, energy and efforts into something like Sean Smile. That on its own provides enough credibility for me to, 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 to open up these discussions. Having gone through these first six months of aligners, I can certainly see the benefits already that are mounting up and I can start seeing that actually patients' outcomes are going to be certainly well managed, certainly going to be on the trajectory where you know we're going to get predictable outcomes. So I think it, it's multiple fold. I think my introduction through Tiff Qureshi was already, you know, like I said, and I've said on many occasions before, you know, he's one of my heroes in dentistry, he's changed the face of dentistry in the UK, if not the world, and he puts his hands up and says, you know, I wasn't doing things right, so I stopped to say why, and that's where Inman Aligner and, and IAS was, was born from, along with a couple of his friends and colleagues, um, but if someone who I put in such high regard is openly um, speaking so positively about a company and we're quite good friends you know we've been to dinner at each other's houses and and things and you know we we do lots of social activities together all the time if someone of who's relatively close to me um, believes so much in in something and is probably one of the industry leaders in terms of opinion and so on I'd certainly say that that on its own is probably enough for me however I am my own clinician and I want to make sure that things fit and just 
if I started to see gross inconsistencies with what Tiff was saying, what what was happening, then I'd probably go back and question it. But it's not been like that at all. It's been a really smooth process. Christian, Joe, uh, Tina, the whole team, everyone's been so, so lovely. Uh, they've all encouraged me to want to get involved. They've all really pushed me forwards to get involved, even on this podcast and things. You know, they've really been interested and, and they've taken an active interest in me as an individual, which I which I think I'm quite blessed for, really. So... I mean, every like, every box has been ticked uh, for me in terms of cooperation, friendliness, uh, scientific uh, pedigree, and and current uh, demographic of speakers. I think it all it all adds up really, really well. How easy is it to start using the Shore Smile system? Incredibly easy. Um, ultimately, we do a, a, a course where we try and uh, understand the relative benefits, the pitfalls, the things that people do and don't do. I think it was easier for me because I'd already gone through the IAS pathway anyway and I was doing aligners to a certain degree. You get unloaded onto the system, a technical aspect of it, and then it was really helpful when I got that walkthrough uh, with regards to this is how the system is, this is how you change things, this is how you put the face up, this is how you might want to change aspects. W- w- that walk through the system, that personalised touch of walking through the system was really helpful because... You know, like most things, if you've got an Android, you don't like Apple. If you've got an Apple, you don't like an Android. So at the beginning, it's quite difficult to, oh, right, what does this mean? But it's familiarity. The more you're doing something, the more you're spending time on the system, the more you're trying to adjust, the more modifications you make, the more you look at your treatment plans going forwards, the more it just becomes second nature. So actually, it's been very, very straightforward. And what was really, really nice is that any initial education has been based on the principles of orthodontics. Again, you know, coming from a master's background, scientific pedigree and scientific understanding is quite important to me. So provided that I've got that level of understanding within this introduction, it already sets things in the right tone for where we're going to go forwards. And how useful do you find the ongoing support and the SureSmileU online e-learning platform? The great thing about SureSmile is they've got quite a, uh, you know, a, a strong background in, in science and education. So as part of the onboarding where I get shown the software, they also sent me the link for SureSmileU where you've got lots of training videos. And again, what it's doing is repetition is key, isn't it? Repetition is the thing that increases proficiency. So going through all these principles, going through these videos, which were really, really insightful, really helped as well. So it just gives you this confidence that A, Sure Smile and, and Dentsply obviously know what they're doing, but also gives me the reassurance that I think I know what I'm doing and I'm making the right decision. So it's been really, really helpful. You yourself say that you're not a comprehensive orthodontist, but you strongly believe that you can't practice restorative dentistry effectively without considering the tooth position. Could you explain your ortho-restorative philosophy? What's really important for me is I think orthodontics and restorative go hand in hand. I don't think you can achieve appropriate outcomes with composite or ceramic for that matter if you've got a constricted anterior envelope because all you're going to do is you're just going to polarise those restorations. So having the teeth in the right position ultimately to start with is going to aid longevity in your restorations. So therefore ortho-restorative to me it can't it can't be anything other than coexist, if that makes sense. So, you know, being part of this, you know, really beautiful place in the clinic, it's really, really important to me that I get referred cases that are going to request ultimately improvement of anterior aesthetic outcomes. Well, one of those, the, the first step is, well, of course, biology. Is everything healthy? Are there any issues, decay, gum issues, periapical issues? Um, get all of that out of the way. And then we go on to the biomechanical relationship of those teeth, whether that's the posterior uh, relationship or that's the anterior relationship. And with the posterior relationship, not necessarily will I consider fixed ortho, but I may do if it's quite significantly out there, huge cross bites, etc. But posteriorly, we will do equilibrated study models and casts where we get just the occlusion, quite a lot of detail. And then once we're there, we will then get to the point where we get the anterior teeth to be supportive to that posterior occlusion so are we getting uh, you know disclusion on protrusion is it canine guidance if possible if everything's class one um what can we do to support those canines will we build canine rises um how will that affect the shape of the teeth that we want to build up in terms of composite if they're severely worn you know all of these sort of discussions really fit together like a jigsaw puzzle and i think if you are not offering orthontics you may be forced down other treatment strategies that may be more destructive to the teeth and the thing that i really love about ortho restorative in general it's a process of minimally invasive dentistry that optimizes outcomes 
And minimally invasive dentistry doesn't mean you don't drill when you need to drill. If there's caries, you're not going to be minimally invasive and, and not clean it out unless you're going through a mineral, remineralization protocol. You, when you have to intervene, you have to intervene. But what can we do to create the ideal environment for that intervention to last as long as possible? And that's why, for me, clear aligners, ortho and restorative, I mean, it all just fits together like a, like a perfectly formed jigsaw puzzle. Many thanks to Shiraz for his time and valuable insights today. If you'd like to find out more about Shaw's Smile Clear Aligners, book a one-to-one by visiting dentsplicerona.com forward slash Smile.